Hello, hello, my lovely Cappies. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Cappies, you have the Mystic and the Bardo, the Eternal Child, the Queen, the Lover, the Starborn, and the Creator. I mean, this is like such positive energy, Cappies. I love that. The Mystic and the Bardo, though. I mean, this is just really an idea of like a psychic knowing, seeing in between, dream states. You know, I just kind of get this influx of like like a movement of spirit you know just like feeling like inspired somehow and this inspiration I think feels like it's like it's leading you in a direction that just oh I just feel like creativity and I don't know. I mean, like there are, there are people in our lives. There are things that we do like along the way <laughs> that just like they, like they activate our minds and you're like, Oh my God. And then this, and then that, and then that. And then it's just like, and the creativity around those people just pours out. Right. I mean, I just feel like this pouring out of creativity, and I feel like there's an element here of, of guidance. I mean, the queen is the idea of influence and the eternal child is just kind of this, I don't know, because it's a very different energy. And, and I feel like the energy is fueled by this experience, this understanding, this knowing these, if you have a dream, I don't know. Cause I know some of my copies are out here just prophesying in their dreams. You know what I mean? Like mad respect, but like, however it plays out for you, I just feel like there's something that inspires you that like sends you in a direction of creativity. Um, but I just kind of get this sense of like, I don't know. I think about a random story, honestly. Um, Josiah and I would do like Snapchat stories, you know, and, and use all of the different filters and all of the things and then like make up a story about whatever the, like this filters were and just like create story that way. Just like, just for fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it feels like that, like that sense of like this, just like an innocent desire to like create something that like impacts influence, right? Um, but sometimes in order to be able to impact that influence, we have to open ourselves up to different ways of being, different ways of thinking, different ways of doing. Um, and I just kind of get this sense that you are opening yourself up to different ways of being and different ways of doing. And I love that for you, Cappies. However, this resonates for you. It is fucking fantastic. <laughs> and I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you have somebody in your life right now who is just oh, like they turned on the like the faucet of creativity and just like pouring out of you, you know, because it just feels oh, I love it. OK, the tower and the hermit. Ooh. Okay, well, this is the opposite of that energy. <laughs> the tower is just, <laughs> you know, it's the end. It's broken. It's it's a lot of shock. It's a lot of surprise. It's a lot of just like things crumbling down around you and really needing to just kind of like pull back for a minute, um, which is quite possibly where this like inspiration is coming from, you know. Um. Let's do more from Santa Monica because I feel like there's more, <laughs> but we only got those two. The Nine of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, Stacks, Temperance, the Magician, Nine of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Two of Pentacles, the Star, the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. 
cool. I don't know if you guys are experiencing like a, uh, like an end in an, in a relationship that is just kind of like serving as a point of isolation. That's really allowing for you to reflect on what it is that you want, because I just, and it's been in y'all's reads for a while now, is just this idea of manipulation and just like, I don't know, when you're dealing with somebody who's manipulative, you can't argue with them because they don't, they don't hear what you're saying. So what you have to do is just sit back and let them manipulate you over and over and over again until you're satisfied with what you've collected. And then you gather your collection of all of the things that they tried to do to manipulate you or did to manipulate a situation and you hand it the fuck back and you walk the fuck away. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you can keep that. I don't need it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, like, that's what that feels like. I don't know if you're saying this to somebody, if somebody's saying this to you, but whatever it is, there's a point of revelation that, that accompanies this. Um, and I think a... A new opportunity that embodies again with this like overflowing creativity you know what I mean like when you stop like dictating and like I don't know demanding and you know like it is no fun to create with people who are like this is how it has to be done <laughs> okay Cartman calm down <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> again Y'all can be dealing with somebody in this energy. You can be on either side of the story. Take what resonates, how it resonates, and leave the rest. But, you know, when you are, when you're working with those people, you're limited. And when you are inspired by the brilliance and the success of the people around you, and you get to start engaging in conversation with them, it's like you start asking questions you never even knew you were like, I didn't even know I needed to know that. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um... And it's so much fun and it's such a blessing. And I love that you guys are moving into that energy because it's a good energy to be in. Honestly, I think that there's partnership and opportunity and it's, and it's fun because it's fun to create. It's fun to engage with your imagination. Um, it's fun to surround yourself with people who know different things, um, you know, to, and to create with that because like, I just feel like no cap on creation, like, like staying up late at night and creating and concocting entire worlds. You know what I mean? <clears throat> um, worlds that aren't so limited, worlds that don't feel so confining, worlds that open you up to like a whole new world fucking love it. All right, Cappies, if this does resonate with you, please give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.